the red LEDs have arrived, which means we can continue working on the nacelles. As you can see here, I have my blue and red LED tapes lit up here, with 12 volts going through them. I was thinking about dimming them, but I think uh, with the d diffusion I'm going to be using, it'll look just fine without dimming them any. So, the question is, how are we going to fit that into this little space? Well, that's quite easy. One of the greatest benefits of LED tape is the fact that you can uh, bend and distort it. The plan is quite simple. We turn a 5cm strip like that into a tiny little triangle like this. Now you might be thinking, you can't possibly fold LED tape that much and still have it work. Well, as you can see, all three LEDs are still working and it is just such an amazingly compact solution that if I give the nacelle here for comparison this will simply adhere to the top with a little bit of PVA and it will just sit there like that shining directly out of the bazaar collectors. Creating this shape is very simple. You simply fold the tape around that central AD to create that central point. Yeah. Then bend the tape back on itself so that the out LEDs are practically where the uh, the bend point is. As you can see, there's just a little bit there. And then the same on this side, trying to make it even. It doesn't matter too much if there's a little bit of uh, flap at the end, because we can trim that off. So we end up with this uh, M shape. Then all we do is take off the adhesive backing. and refold it, making sure we get those edges nice and crisp. There we are. So that's turned into, into a V shape, but as you can see that's uh, still coming apart. I have this wonderful foam tape, double sided adhesive. Just grab a little bit of that, shove it in the end, take off the back, and then simply sandwich it closed, making sure that the ends are straight and flush. There. Now I have two Buzzard LED shapes. And what about the nacelle squids that I made earlier? It was quite simple. I'll detach the nacelle tape, scrap everything else, wire these into a very simple circuit and that's it, no resistor, no nothing just the same in and out alright, so here's what the final circuit looks like as you can see our navigation lights are still here at the back our LED tape along this bit of foam and the buzzard lights at the front as you can see it all fits very neatly together with the wires coming out where the pylon will go and all this is I've cut a small notch in, into the foam to allow the cable and the circuit board to come in. The nacelle wire and the buzzard wires will come up to this single piece of circuit board with the entrance and exits for the uh, voltage and what have you simply resting in the middle where it will be affixed by the foam and a bit, a little bit of glue. The 555 takes its power in from that same board. As you can see it comes across like so with one adjoining wire, the negative for the 505 and the negative and positive for the 12 volt. Now all I have to do is create the second one and then affix this in place. Once that's done we can look at adding the diffusion, the grill and other transparent elements, fix the top navigation light to the upper casing and then look at sealing this unit together into its final form. And there we go. The LED tape is stuck down and the LED tape for the buzzards is just with a little, little bit of PVA just being held in place by that masking tape. May not have uh, seemed like very long for you but that took quite a bit of time with the, the uh, planning and uh, figuring out everything. 
We've got our three cables coming out. I've marked the 555 with a green piece of insulation tape. So once that is dry, I fix the nav light and we can seal this thing up. But that'll definitely do it for this evening. I'm Raven, and that's all from the desk.